Welcome to Freedom Boat Club and congratulations on becoming a new member. This video is all about the reservation system and by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to confidently book a new reservation and navigate the system. Don't forget, if you have any questions, our staff is available. The best way to get to the reservation system is to go to freedomboatclub.com. In the top right hand corner where it says member login, go ahead and click that. It's gonna take you to a new link. Now's a good time to save that link in your favorites and also remember that we do not have an app and it's the best way to book a reservation on your smartphone. Now we're gonna log in. Use your email address or login, put in the password that you get, go ahead and hit the login button and there we are. The first page you see is the view reservation page. If you have any current reservations booked, they'll show right here in the middle. To make a new reservation, you can click new in the right hand corner or click it on the left hand side that says new reservation. If you see any notifications at the top of the screen, go ahead and click the I button. For example, this one it allows you to update your payment information for dockside payments. We're going to click I have read this message and it will go away. As I scroll down, I get to pick the captain. If you have multiple people on your membership, you can book a reservation under, let's say, your B member or spouse. There's only one person on this membership, so we're gonna click Mr. Member. We can click a date range if we like. If we do click a date range, you can see that there's a starting date, we're gonna to pick tomorrow, and an end date, we're gonna pick a week from tomorrow. Then you have the location. You can go ahead and pick any location. We're gonna pick Mission Bay, Dana Landing. And then you have a vessel classification. Let's run through those real quick. Cruising only, electric, fishing only, offshore fishing only, pontoon only, pontoon double decker. I recommend getting used to what each type of boat is and what it can do. If you notice when I click the next button, it gives me an error that says you must pick a vessel class. So if you're gonna do a date range, go ahead and click the type of vessel you're looking for. Let's say pontoon only. We'll hit next. It'll show us all the pontoons available during that date range. As you scroll down, anything in green is available. Anything in green with a percentage sign is available for half the day. Anything in peach can be waitlisted and you can also waitlist any boat by clicking the waitlist any boat button next to the date. As we scroll down, we can see that our date range is there and we can pick the boat that we like. Another important feature when you're looking at the reservation system is the I icon. We're going to click that for no drama. After you click the I icon, the window opens up and gives you a brief description of the boat. Some important things to notice would be that it holds 10 people and has a 45 gallons of gas. It also gives you a description of what you can do on the boat. Just remember, pontoon boats can't go offshore. Now it's time to actually reserve a boat. If you're gonna try to reserve a boat on the same day, today's Thursday, September 29th, the system will not allow you. To make a reservation on the same day, please call the local dock staff affiliated with the location that you wanna go to. Let's go ahead and book a boat for tomorrow. I've got a couple of options. I can wait list some of the boats in Peach, I can reserve Blue Steel all day, or I can reserve some of these other pontoons for a half day. Let's look at the half day first. When we look at the half day, you can see that it's available in the morning. I can waitlist the afternoon or I can waitlist the full day. Let's close that and let's book Blue Steel for a full day. We click reserve. We have three options, the morning, the afternoon, or the full day. Please remember that each of these reservations on a weekday are worth one reservation slot. So even a full day on a weekday is only worth one. Let's click the full day. Our arrival time, it doesn't have to be 8 a.m. Let's, let's go ahead and pick 10. And our return time, we'd like to come back at sunset and the system will default to sunset every day, which is 636 on Friday. Here's a great place to put some notes. If you have anything you'd like to tell the doc staff, type it in there. The Trip Buddy button is for notifying other members that you'd like to have a Trip Buddy. You click that button, you could put your contact information in the box and a member can see it and give you a call if you'd like to go boating with a friend.
Let's book the reservation. Click here. Now that your reservation's booked, you'll see that Mr. Member currently has one concurrent reservation and a maximum of four concurrent reservations. To view your reservation, go ahead and click View Reservations, and your reservation has showed up. If you need to change anything with your reservation, go ahead and click the little gear wheel, hit Edit, your boat will show up. You can change the time by clicking Edit and Next and adjusting the time if you need to. We can close out of that. Let's go back to View Reservations. Let's try to search one day, which will allow you to see all the vessels at one location at one time. New Reservation. Let's scroll down. We will pick a week from today. We will look at Dana Landing. We're going to click Next. It's very important to remember that if you're going to pick a date range, that you will be able to see a specific class of boat. But if you pick one date in the future, you will be able to see all the boats. As we scroll down, we'll be able to see every boat for Dana Landing. And again, as a recap, anything in green is available. Anything in green with a percentage sign is available for half day. And anything in peach is a wait list. Let's go ahead and try to wait list any boat by clicking the wait list any boat button. It is our recommendation that when you want to waitlist a boat, you go ahead and waitlist any boat. That way we can give you a call when any boat is available. You can add any comments that you like, like I'd like a pontoon only or just a fishing boat. And you can click the drop down for first available and specifically ask for the boat that you'd like. Again, we recommend first available any boat is the best way to get on a boat for the waitlist. Let's click yes. And you've been added for the waitlist for Thursday, October 6th. As you scroll down and look for boats available, a couple of boats might say missing certification. These boats are available for the FBC Platinum membership. If you're interested, please reach out to your membership executive. If you're already on that membership, congratulations. One of the best perks about being a Freedom Boat Club member is to book boats outside of your current network or your hometown. You can do that by clicking New Reciprocal Reservation. It's important to remember that this is just a little bit of a different process. Because we're international, you need to click a different country first, either Canada, France, or United States. More countries on the way. We're going to pick the United States. We're also going to pick a different date other than today. Remember, if it's the same day, you're going to need to call the dock specifically. Let's go ahead and select a state. Let's pick Florida. and there are a lot of locations. It's a good idea to go ahead and go on to freedomboatclub.com to find out what location you specifically want to go to and the name that it is called in the system. We'll say that one more time for you. You might want to go to freedomboatclub.com just to triple check which location you'd like to go to and the name of that location. We're going to go ahead and pick New Smyrna Beach. We're going to say all classes of boats and we're going to hit next. Every location across the country comes with different boating. So take a look at some of the notifications and click acknowledge. This one specifically states there are no early checkouts and no overnight boating. The next one discusses charts. There will be a 15 minute walkthrough. We recommend this for yourself as well because it's a new location. The next is an ID required. Of course, you're going to a new location and then they're not sure who you are, so please bring your ID that, and make sure it matches the reservation system. And they also require the new member orientation, which is the training that you've already received. That immediately will take you to the reservation system that you're used to looking at. Take a look at all the boats available. There are boats that are waitlisted and there are boats that can be reserved. Again, just like a regular reservation system, you can click reserve and pick the morning, the afternoon, or whatever time slots are available for that location. Remember, the best way to learn about the boat you're trying to book is by clicking the eye icon on the left-hand side of each boat. When you click on it, you can see that this is a center console. It's a Cobia, it's 22 feet, 
It's got 150 horsepower and it holds nine people. It's good for offshore as well. It's the best way to find out what kind of boat you want to use based on what kind of day you want to have. I.e., can't take a pontoon boat in the ocean, so don't book a pontoon if you want to go fishing offshore. Now let's discuss a couple other features of the reservation system. In the top right hand corner, there's an update profile button. Let's go ahead and click that. This allows you to change your email, update your username, your default location, and you can change your password. It also allows you to click here to change what card you have on file for the dockside payment. Let's click that. If you notice, your membership details are in the top left hand side and we can scroll down to dockside payment. When you click view dockside methods, if you have a payment method on file, it'll show in the middle of the screen. If you would like to change it, you can add a credit card and change that to the change default method. Remember, this credit card's on file so that we can charge you dockside for fuel and or any incidentals. It's also important to remember that you must have a credit card on file to take a boat out. Please keep a credit card on file as a Freedom Boat Club member. One of the other great features of the reservation system, as you scroll down, are the links for information. We have many links for information. For example, the SimRad GPS manual, information about going into Mexican waters, how to earn a free month by referring a new member. And one of my favorite is the tutorial videos. If you click on that, it actually takes you to YouTube. There is a long list of tutorial videos to help you on your boating day, from how to check out a boat, to how to use a VHF radio, understanding how our lower unit overheats, etc. Also, as you're scrolling through the links for member information, You've got to book a training button. You could book a training even after you're a member by clicking on this link, scrolling down, and then clicking on one of the captains that you like or have used before to find out a good training slot. This is excellent if you'd like to get some extra dock practice or maybe even learn how to beach a boat because you've had some challenges. One of the other links provided is a contact us link. Click on that, it'll open up a PDF and we have the director of operations, some of our membership executives, our billing department, and uh, one of our training captains. If you have any challenges with the club, rec recommend you reach out to Kellen uh, or the billing department. Thanks for your time and I hope this video was enjoyable and educational. Remember, if you have any questions about the reservation system, the dock staff are an excellent source and so is our director of operations. Thanks for being a member of Freedom Boat Club and have a great time on the water.